Vermont's Supreme Court will lose its longest tenured member this fall as Justice Marilyn Scogland is retiring. Yeah, our own Spencer Collins sat down with the justice earlier today and she's had quite a storied career. Take a look. I've been scared with a new challenge for a while and, and I always used to say if I ever get a chance, I take one. For Justice Marilyn Scoglin, the new challenge is retirement. After more than two decades on Vermont's top court, Scoglin is hanging up her robe, something she's kept a secret from her colleagues on the bench. I think they were pretty surprised. I always said I'd drop dead on the bench, but you're healthy. Do it now. Having never attended law school, Scoglin's path to the bench has been all but ordinary, beginning with a four-year clerkship at the Attorney General's office before taking the bar exam. And I passed it. And then they, they kept me on because I'm a I've got a good work ethic and they made me an assistant attorney general. Scoglin would be appointed a district court judge in 1994. In 97, she was sworn in as an associate justice of the Vermont Supreme Court. I'm the luckiest person. I mean, I found a profession I love. One of Scoglin's first tasks was to spruce up the first floor hallway of the Supreme Court building with work from Vermont artists. I would come in on the weekends with the artist and nail hammer nails into the wall and hang the pictures. The 72 year old informed Governor Phil Scott of her retirement plans with a one sentence letter Monday. I mean, she's direct to the point. The governor says he will miss Scoglin's candidness and sense of humor on the bench. Big shoes to fill, uh, we, but we have time and that's the good news. Uh, she is given ample time. The judicial nominee board will present Scott with a pool of candidates for the job. This will mark his second appointment to the panel. Do you think a woman should take your place or does that matter? Don't care in the least. It just doesn't matter. It's the law. The law is gender, gender neutral as applied. Scoglin says she's got lots of plans once September rolls around, including teaching a state constitutional law class at Middlebury College alongside her former counterpart, Justice John Dooley. She's also thinking about some other endeavors unrelated to law. Uh, I want to learn to be a bartender. I just want to do different things. I've signed up at UVM for Spanish. <laughs> Beginning Spanish. Hablo usted español? No. <laughs> As her time at the Supreme Court comes to a close, a tattoo on her right wrist helps reaffirm her decision to think beyond the bench. And I got Jagarmet in Swedish on my arm because it kind of sums up how I feel. I'm satisfied. I'm lucky. I'm satisfied. Spencer Conlon, a local 22 News, yeah. Montpelier. Oh, what a really neat woman, huh? I know, from justice to bartender. I know, I like it. If she, <laughs> if she needs help, she can let, I, I used to be a bartender, so I can uh, give, her some, give her some pointers there. I smell a story. Yes. Well, as you saw in that brief letter, Justice Scotland's final day on the bench will be September 1st. We want to wish her all the best. Yes, absolutely. Oh.